information, intermediate level one, lesson number 11. So if you made it up to this far, congratulations. 10 lessons in the bag. You're doing really well. Hopefully you're learning how to be patient, working slow, practicing the scales, the exercises, uh, making sure that you get all your reading exercises with your eyes on the music, counting out loud, and you're almost more than halfway, well, you will be more than halfway done with Minuet and G as far as memorizing goes today. So good luck with that, and I hope you have a good time practicing. <laughs> So, the first thing on your list, of course, is the usual sacbe, scales, arpeggios, cadence, and burlesque. Today I'm going to focus on the key of F, which has a different fingering. I want to review the F scale fingering for you real quickly. Just think of thumbs, threes, thumbs, twos, like this. Thumbs, this is a pinky pretending to be a thumb. Thumbs, and then a group of three. Thumbs, and then a group of two. Thumbs and a group of three. Thumbs and then a group of two. At the top, your fourth finger pretending to be a thumb. And you come down, group of two. Thumbs, your group of three. Thumbs and a group of two. Thumbs and a group of three. So your thumbs always come together. At the bottom, number five. At the top, and number four, both pretending to be a thumb in that same pattern. So here we go. I'm going to set the metronome. Uh, the top speed I've given you for the sacbo this week is 176. So let me put it up at 176. Here's 175, 176. And away we go. Now, if you wanted to play burlesque twice that fast, it's possible. Probably not quite ready for it, but I know some people like to go fast, so here it is. There it is. That was your scales, arpeggios, cadence, and burlesque in the key of F. Have fun with that. All right, so the next thing on your list is of course the major and minor triads. We're gonna go chromatically, we're gonna block them and then roll them, and I'm gonna start it at 72. So let's put this as, oh, it already is at 72. Here we go. Try to keep my hands up nice and tall and drop my weight into the keys. first. Okay, now 
I'm gonna roll them. minor triads. Have fun with those. All right, so your first reading exercise here for lesson 11 is rhythmic variations in F. I'm going to go ahead and just practice through each phrase the usual way, right hand, left hand, both. I'm going to put the metronome slower than the, the range I've given you, so just so you can hear the beat, don't have to work with the metronome yet, but once you get to know it, you should. I'm going to play the right hand from the very beginning. One, two, and three. Right hand, get that learned and master it. Left hand, fifth fingers on F. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two. Now stretch to your second finger. One, two, three, one. And once you've learned that, put them together. Once you've done that, you've got that first line three times perfectly, you've mastered it. Time to try the right hand on the next line. Ready? One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three, one. Okay, so kind of the same thing, but with a little bit of rhythmic variation to it. Imagine that. So once you get your right hand, left hand, four fingers on D, one, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. And then once you've mastered the left hand, put them together. Once you get those first two lines learned, then put them together. We're going to go on to the third line now. Right hand. Now, kind of the same thing, but a different variation. We're going to put some triplets in there. I'll say the word triplet each time we have a triplet. One triplet. Three. One. Two. Three. One triplet. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Once you get that right hand learned, the left hand is pretty simple. One. the fingering on that. Now let's put them together. One triple at three. One, two, three, one. Triple at three. One, two, three, one. All right. And once you have the third line learned, put all three together. Here we go to the fourth line. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, Triple it. One, two, three. Ah, left hand's turn. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two. Triple it. One, two, three. Off. And once you have that, put them together on that fourth line. One, two, and three. Once you get that learned, it's time to play the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and move the metronome up to the, the bottom of our range right here for this one, which is 72. And then I'll do it again at 120. But here we go. The whole piece at 72. One, two, and three. Oh, my, I goofed up the fingering. Did you see that? I started with third. No good. Number two. One, two, and three. One, two. Three, one. 
Now let's go ahead and move it up to 120 so you can hear what it would sound like if you get it this fast. And of course, anywhere in between those two is fine. If you want to stay with it for a while and get it up to this tempo, it's kind of fun. One, two, and three. One, two, three. 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 three. And that was rhythmic variations in F. Have fun with that. All right, so the next reading exercise in Lesson 11 is jumping in F. And I want to just point out two things about this. The first thing is the top line and the bottom line, so the first and the fourth, are exactly the same. You do not need to practice the bottom line again unless you want to. I'm just going to practice these three lines, and it will put the whole thing together. Then the other thing is there's these little two-note slurs in the right hand. Uh, and it shows up a little bit in the left hand on this line, but I just want to point out that you're going to go smooth, staccato, smooth, staccato in the right hand, while the left hand is going to be staccatoing. So that's a little bit of the uh, tricky part on this one. The left hand has mostly staccatos, occasionally a long chord, so be aware of those things. The articulation lesson here is worth learning, so pay close attention to those details. I'm going to start at uh, 52 for the quarter note which is actually a little bit fast. So leave your metronome off until you get to know it and then you can start 52 or slower. Here we go. Right hand by itself on the first line. And one and two and one and two and... Okay, I just counted that wrong. It's and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one okay now once you've got that right hand learned the left hand goes like this it's the one chord in the key of f and then the four chord you'll notice you'll recognize all these chords from your cadence and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and and four and one and two and three and four and one. All right, so now that is the first line with the left hand. Let's put them together. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Almost got it perfect. I just had one staccato in the left hand that I left out, but hopefully you'll get three perfects and then move on to the next line. Let's do the left hand first on the second line. The left hand has the melody, so let's play that first. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Then jump down and one. Fourth finger on C down here. Um, you could look for that jump. It's kind of a tricky jump. So if you need to look at your hand, that's fine. Just for that one spot. Or you could train your hand how to find it without looking. That'd be even better. Okay, now you get your left hand learned. Right hand goes like this. One and two and three and four. Sorry about the slop. And two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and So second finger up to C. Now both hands. One and two and three and four. One and two and three four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three four. One. Okay. Now once you get those first two lines learned, go ahead and do the uh, do them together. But I'm going to move on to the third line. Right hand. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One. Okay. That's the third line.
line with the right hand, left hand's turn. One and two and three and four. 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 One. Now there's some tricky fingerings there in the left hand, so hopefully you can learn those. Take your time, go slow, get them learned and then try them together. See if I can get the fingerings right here. One and two and three and four. 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 One. All right, now, once you get that third line learned, then you're ready to play all four lines. I'm going to go ahead and move this up to the range that I give you on your um, lessons sheet. And it was, I think, 63 for the first one. So a little bit faster than we were just going. Here's the whole piece at 63. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one. So now, I almost made it through there without mistakes. You can catch one or two if you look closely. I'm going to move it up to 100 and see if we can handle this. Ready? A little bit quicker like this makes it quite a bit harder on the fingering. So let's see if we can do it. And one and two and three. So that was jumping in F. Have fun with that. All right. So for lesson 11, we're going to learn uh, two more lines of the minuet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do measure 17 through 20 on the bottom of the first page. And at the top of the second page, we're going to get measure 21 through 24. So let's memorize those. I'll take them nice and slow. I'm going to play the right hand by itself, starting at measure 17. And then you are instructed on your, um, on your lesson sheet to practice the old material with the metronome. So maybe I'll demonstrate a little bit of that, but let's focus mostly on these new measures. So right hand, third finger, one and two and three and one and two and three and one. And you'll notice I put a couple staccatos. You can do that or not. Bach did not specify, so it's up to you. I like to play those two short and then hold. Okay, so that's the right hand. Left hand, one and two and three and one and two and three and one. So I play the left hand smooth that whole way. Go ahead and get the left hand memorized and then put them together. One and two. So that was measure 17 and 18. Now, starting with measure 19, right in the fourth finger. One, two, and three, and one, two, three, one. And once you get that memorized, left hand, one, and two, and three. Oh no, look at that. The left hand played an E 
minor chord. That will help you memorize if you notice it. See that? So it's a weird fingering, but it's an E minor chord, and you can memorize that shape. As well as the next measure, measure 20, is a chord. Two. It's a B major chord. See that? So memorizing in chords helps. Here we go, left hand. Sorry I interrupted. One and two and three and one and two. And then bring your fourth finger up to D sharp. See that? Make sure you watch that fingering. Once you get it memorized, put them together. One and two and three and one and two and three and one. Let me see if I save my metronome. There you go. Now, once you get that learned, of course, you're going to put that whole line together with a stop in the middle like this. One. From there, okay. And now let's do it without the stop, and you would do this till you get at least three perfect. More if you'd like. the whole measure 17 through 20 um, with both hands, you would get three perfect, and then move on to measure 21, right hand by itself. One and two and three and one, two, three, trip. And I said trip because that's the beginning of a triplet right there. Now the left hand is again rolling an E minor chord. Hopefully you'll recognize that. One and two. You get the left hand memorized, put them together. One and two and three and one, two, three, two. Okay, and then once you have those two memorized, move on to the next two. It starts with a triplet in the right hand. I'm going to say triplet two, three, one, two, Once you get that right hand mastered and memorized, left hand, triple the two, three, one, two, and three, and one. And then you put them together like this. Triple the two, and three, one, two, and three, and one. And then, of course, we're going to put the whole line together with a stop right in the middle. And that'll go like this. One, two, and three, and one, two, three, trip, and then restart, triple it, two, three, one, two, okay, and then the whole line without the stop. And then let's go ahead and put the two lines together that we've done today, the bottom of the first page and the top of the second page. And let's go ahead and put it on the metronome. Now, for your old material, I suggested 66. I'm going to go a little bit slower than that for this brand new material. Maybe let's try 52 and see what it sounds like. That's about, I think, how fast I might have been just playing. Here we go. One, two. And that was measures 17 through 24. And it was at 52. Now, um, just real quick, I want to show you the opening at the 66. If you wanted to just start out the 66 on um, your homework sheet or your lessons sheet that I gave you, the guide says 66 to 80. So I'm going to just show you what uh, 66 sounds like at the beginning. And you should still be practicing hands separately, but here's what it sounds like hands together.
was just the first line. And I want to show you what that sounds like at 80. It would sound like this. All right? So um, you go ahead and, and learn the new lines and start working on the old material with the metronome, somewhere between 66 and 80. And then the next lesson, lesson 12, we will finish learning it and play the whole thing into the range. Have fun with that.